Welcome to your daily writing habit, episode 110. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you're trying to finish the book that you've already started writing, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. Each day, I am sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. And the three biggest of those habits that I've learned that can really determine an author's success are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. So that's what we're focusing on. Here is today's inspirational quote. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Mr. Stephen King. So I am on the last day of my tips for enhancing creativity. This is based on a survey that I put together recently. It's uh, in regards to uh, another book that I'm working on. It's about creativity. And I sent out that survey on social media, and I learned some really interesting things from those of you who took the survey. And I was glad to see that nobody thought that creativity is only needed by creative professionals. You all agreed that creativity is pretty much needed by everyone. And roughly 80% of you agreed that creativity is necessary in life. Love that. And over 70% of you know how to become more creative. So for the 30% who might need some more help with that last part, I have been sharing in episodes 108 through 110 here on Your Daily Writing Habit, I've been sharing three of my most powerful personal strategies for increasing creativity, whether in general or for a actual creative project like writing a book. So again, episodes 108 through 110 to get the complete set. Here's my final tip. Fiction. Not read it, but read it. And yes, my fellow business owners and entrepreneurs, sometimes I get pushback from you guys. I agree that expanding our minds with business and high performance enhancing reads is vital to our success. Very important. I read all of those books, trust me. However, sparking your imagination and other parts of your creative mind left untouched by nonfiction books is vital to your creativity as well. At any given time, I have a nonfiction and fiction book in progress, and I would recommend for creativity sparking purposes that you do the same. Here's another thought that I do when I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm really looking to enhance and spark my creativity, I go and I rent or, okay, I have to translate that, rent via streaming and all the technology of today. Yeah, you can tell what generation I'm from. Still go to Blockbuster, rent a movie. <laughs> Find an indie film to watch, and the crazier the better, even if you have like no idea what in the heck is happening in the movie, which happens in some indie movies, and even just the mainstream movies like Interstellar. I'm admitting I don't fully understand what happened at the end of that movie, Uh, but you know, something like Inception, another mainstream one. But if you're really looking to send your imagination on a wild ride, look for the independent filmmakers like Jim Jarmusch and David Lynch and, you know, the ones that will really stretch limits of your creative thinking. Uh, The movie Mulholland Drive is an example of that. So these are, a lot of indie movies are pretty dark and edgy. So, you know, fair warning on that. But it's really interesting. And if you can find one in the movie theater, even better, because then you have the complete immersion experience of being wrapped up in this crazy story that, again, you might not understand it, but just allow yourself to go there and you will be stretching your creative muscles in new ways that you just don't do every day, even if you're writing every day. So I highly recommend reading fiction and watching fiction, and sometimes the crazier the better. So that's my final tip. Again, episodes 108 through 110 for my three creativity enhancing strategies. And if you need more help and I'd love to connect with you anyway, my group on Facebook for authors is called Ink Authors. I'd love to see you there. We have accountability and resources and inspiration and all sorts of exciting things happens in Ink Authors, a great group of authors, authors of all levels, all the way from people that are just thinking about writing a book all the way up to New York Times bestselling authors and um, some pretty well-known authors. And everybody is just wonderful and supportive of each other. So I would love to see you in Ink Authors on Facebook. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who wants wants to write an awesome book, please share this with them. Thank you very much. And until tomorrow, happy writing.